A Timber Factory, 1921. Water on Paper. This painting displays the painting method known as lighter watercolor skill, which is done by first sketching the painting with a pencil and then using lighter watercolors. This method normally doesn't take long to complete. Generally, both oil painters and watercolor painters are used to employing this technique for landscape sketching. First, they get the picture of the landscape set up, then they mark the color of each object and enlarge the painting at home. After these steps, they still have to add some more details to it, which puts more emphasis on brushstroke as well as adjusting the colors. This painting is only a smaller sized one of less than A4 paper size. Obviously, out of convenience, Mr. Chen took only some lighter painting tools for the sketching of this painting. On the west side of the culture center is the huge pond which was used for storing and soaking the logs from Ali Mountain. Alongside the Ali San Railway and the pond, there used to be some timber processing factories that dealt with the wood flower, tree bark, etc. After being processed, the timber would then be transported to Japan or to businessmen across the island for sale. Mr. Chen learned the technique of the transparent watercolor painting from Kinichiro Ishikawa while at National Taipei Teachers College. Later on, he used this skill in a series of watercolor paintings. His contribution to watercolor painting in Taiwan is significant. Kinichiro Ishikawa encouraged his students to go abroad to study in Japan and learn the concept of modern Western art. The sky and the ground are clearly separated. The red wood and the green grass serve as foils to one another. The contrast between the vertical chimney and tower and the horizontal railway and pulley system creates a unique and powerful picture. The scene in the picture is now the site of the culture center known as Firwood Pond, one of the major scenic attractions of Jai City. In 1980, it was rebuilt into a library, music hall, and a museum. The whole area has now become a center for activities on arts and literature in Jai. The Cyprus and Alisan villages serve witness to what was once the largest timber city on the island, and it attracts a lot of paying tourists. Across from the villages is the starting point of the famous Alisan mountain climbing train, which is called North Gate Train Station. In front of it is the Yushan Hotel, which is the best place for backpackers to stay overnight. 